And that's the number one reason why I hate Oredo so much. Well, I'm saying Oredo because that's the provider I use, but probably all of them are the same. The ads are the worst. You get spammed with SMS every single day. And also you may need VPN, but we get to that later. I get thousands of SMS. Maybe not thousands, but you, you know what I mean. Every single day I get about three or four SMS, like no thank you. And it's actually useless to send them to me because majority of them are in Burmese. I like written in Burmese. And I do understand a little bit of Burmese, like nene. But if you write something to me, just forget it. I'm not going to understand anything. Unless if it's mushroom. Because it looks like a, someone, looks like a body. So if you're not messaging me saying mushroom, you are just wasting your time. And when I go to this list, as you can see, most of this is in Burmese. So I don't really understand them. But even if I do like this one, every single day they send me this message. Every single day. Yesterday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, Saturday, Friday, and on and on and on. Do I even open these messages? I don't. And as you can see, most of them are muted because it's just a message that I don't need to see. I don't need to be wasting my time on them. And I try to block them, but it doesn't work for some reason. I think they should do better. I bought my SIM card online. I had to give a lot of information, nationality, passport and everything. There's no reason to send me Burmese message that is just not gonna do anything for me. Every single day, I try to contact them, I speak to them, and I got this cancelled, but it lasted one month. Then I had to contact them again, and they cancelled it again, but every time they say, we cannot do anything about it. And they only stopped it after a long time talking to them, because they didn't want to stop it at all. So if you come on their app, they have a do not disturb option, which you can turn on, nothing is gonna change. And that's the worst thing for me. And that's something I really hate. I don't want to get spam every single day, multiple times per day. No, thank you. But if you talk about the internet, the internet is quite good, not just on your phone, but also if you have Wi-Fi at home, you'll have many options and it's quite cheap, which I think we pay about $10 per month. On the phone is quite cheap because I don't use that often as I'm always connected to Wi-Fi. But if you go to the Oredo app, many options here. If you look at the 30 day options, we have two or three gigabytes for about 2000 chats for like half a dollar or 50 cent, which is almost free. It is cheap, but you probably will not be able to use it as you want. You may not be able to use some apps and website without a VPN, but I would not advise you to get a VPN because it may not be legal. I would advise you to check it for yourself just to make sure. And anyway, I think the VPNs are getting blocked, so I have a better solution for you. Just get a dog. Anyway, if you want to know how the expenses living in Yangon looks like, watch this video over here.